Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramlu. So today's topic is a continuous and a discrete spectrum of beta particle, right? So first, beta particles are counted with the GM counters. So there is a device which can count the beta particle that is called GM counter. A graph is plotted between number of electrons and their energy. See the side graph is there and this graph is uh, drawn in between the energy of the particle and as well as uh, particles, beta particles. The graph is uh, extensively continuous upon which a few sharp planes are superposed. Here mostly the graph is uh, continuously, mostly graph is continuously except there are the small uh, sharp peaks are there, sharp lines are there. The graph shows that the beta particles emitted by <coughs> radioactive substance possesses a continuous range of energies that is beta particle spectrum is continuous the graph is, the graph shows that beta particles emitted by radioactive substance possess a continuous uh, range of energy so the beta particle which are emitting from the nucleus uh, they have the continuous uh, energies like this continuous energies they have so that is why their kind of spectrum is continuous spectrum If instead of a GM counter, a photographic plate is uh, used, then after developing the plate with a suitable exposure, a photograph shown in figure is obtained. Here, generally beta particles are counted with the GM counter. Right? Instead of GM counter, if you replace the GM counter with a photographic plate, with a photographic plate, and then if you develop this uh, photographic plate with a suitable chemical that is exposure means suitable chemicals then the graph will be like this okay the photograph has a darkened background with the several back lines see here this is the graph okay and this graph uh, this is a photographic plate it is actually and see the back this is a but darken like dark dark certain certain dark darks are there dark lines are darken backside dark color is there black color is there and uh, not only okay not only blackened or darken at the background at the background and also certain lines are there black line here in black black line black line black line so that is a black lines are given the background shows that presence of beta particles having wide range of velocities while the line signifies the groups with a definite and a discrete velocities and hence energies here the background is a darken so this is the background is darken that the darken can explain to us that is a beta particles okay beta particles but here black lines are there it is on black line here another black line black line like this black line so these black lines indicates uh, indicates the uh, the those are the uh, what are the uh, those are the see the above graph what we have so there, there is a this line this uh, uh, spike uh, spike spike how the spikes are found on this so instead of spike in this photographic plate in this photograph plate the block lines are shown right so here the spikes are this these are the shown spikes are shown in this graph but in this graph dark lines thick lines are shown okay so here that is a end point energy is there so that end point in this energy is shown by dotted line at the end and the beta particles are having different velocities here Mm. beta particles beta particles has a following characteristics so beta part particle two characteristics it has that means a two spectrum it has 
वन इज कंटिन्यूस स्पेक्ट्रम अदर वन इज अ डिस्क्रीट स्पेक्ट्रम ओके सो हियर द बीटा पार्टिकल्स हैव ए कंटिन्यूस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एनर्जीज सो एनर्जी ऑफ द बीटा पार्टिकल्स आर कंटिन्यूस डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नाउ द कंटिन्यूस स्पेक्ट्रम स्पेक्ट्रम एनर्जी रेंजिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू सर्टेन मैक्सिमम वैल्यू सो कंटिन्यूस स्पेक्ट्रम कंटेन्स अ मिनिमम एनर्जी वैल्यू एंड अ मैक्सिमम एनर्जी वैल्यू लाइक दिस राइट मिनिमम एनर्जी वैल्यू एंड मैक्सिमम एनर्जी वैल्यू सो मिनिमम एनर्जी वैल्यू इज जीरो एंड द मैक्सिमम एनर्जी वैल्यू इज हैज सर्टेन वैल्यू द अपर वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड एंड पॉइंट एनर्जी एंड इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एमीटर राइट सो इन द ग्राफ वी हैव ऑब्जर्व लाइक दिस ओके एंड दिस इज द एंड पॉइंट एनर्जी द वॉट एनर्जी वी हैव दट इज कॉल्ड एंड पॉइंट एनर्जी that is end point energy see once again graph so this is the end point energy okay so the first beginning value is uh, if you extend here zero value you may have and the maximum value is called end point energy of beta particle so that is a beta particle energy only that is upper value okay so that is uh, because of uh, m which uh, radioactive substance can emit the alpha particle that gives so that is a end point energy is not a same for all the beta particles so it is a different for different beta particle uh, for different radioactive substance here emitter means a radioactive some substance which can emit the beta particle this spectrum is found by the primary electrons so this emitters uh, this uh, spectrum is found by the primary electrons primary electron means beta particles only so beta particles are negatively charged particles so that is why beta particles also termed as a uh, electrons but these electrons are beta particles emitted from the nucleus only so when the neutron converted into proton then only beta particles are formed at the time of conversion only beta particles are formed and then they these uh, beta particle releases at the time of Uh, at the time of uh, disintegration primary electrons are emitted by the nucleus with varying velocity so electrons means here the beta particles the so beta particle which are emitting from the nucleus they have the different uh, different uh, beta particles have the different velocities so that is why varying velocities means changes change in velocities these electrons gives rise a continuous spectrum so that is why that those electron can give this this type of continuous spectrum next discrete spectrum right so discrete spectrum the sum radioactive substance emit beta particles which produce a line spectra or discrete spectra here see the lines which are presenting on the diagram so these are called line spectra or discrete spectrum okay discrete spectra or line spectra those are called okay substance some radioactive substance emit beta particles which produce line spectra and that is a discrete spectra superpose superimpose on the account of faint background these are called secondary spectra so that uh, spectra which are forming uh, like this uh, on the Uh, this and the and the beta and the continuous spectrum these are called the secondary spectra primary spectra is continuous spectrum and secondary spectra is discrete spectrum discrete spectrum is found by the secondary electrons or external electrons emitted by the atoms right so beta particles are the primary electrons okay so beta particles can form a continuous uh, spectrum and that is why primary electrons these are called but there are the certain secondary electrons also there and they can form say lines on the graph of uh, disc on the graph of discrete spectrum so these lines are uh, formed by the certain electrons those electrons are called secondary electrons and these secondary electrons are emitted by the atoms only we know that gamma rays are emitted uh, from the radioactive nucleus with the discrete energies okay so discrete means not continuous energy discrete means here some energy some energy some energy some energy so that is called discrete energy continuous means uh, energy releases continuously without breaking okay 
gamma rays so these gamma rays what happened these gamma rays are knocked out electrons from the k l m n cells of atom secondary electrons are emitted see here let it is one atom containing the nucleus okay around the nucleus many cells present like this so here two electrons eight electrons and uh, eight electrons like this so many electrons are present in the our cells but when this nucleus is going to disintegrate then it emits the not only beta particle and also sometimes gamma particles gamma rays gamma rays are energies so these energies can be absorbed by the electrons which present k shell it is l shell m shell so these uh, gamma rays are absorbed by the electrons which present in k l m shell and then they come outside okay <clears throat> these coming outside electron can form lines on this uh, continuous spectrum line spectra will be formed by those electrons so that is why those electrons are called secondary electron secondary electron means the electron which are knocked from knocked means which are coming picked from which are uh, taken from the k l m and shells like this only <coughs> the secondary electrons forms a line spectrum or discrete spectrum okay so that spectrum is called line spectrum or discrete spectrum which, is, which spectrum this one these are spikes like a spikes okay continuous uh, that is a discrete spectrum and it is a continuous spectrum okay friends uh, don't forget uh, watching this video till the end and uh, subscribing